Ever pondered on the global impact of a song? Let's take Despacito for example. This 2017 sensation by Luis Fonzi and Daddy Yankee quickly became a cultural phenomenon. Its infectious beats permeating global consciousness and transcending linguistic barriers. This is not just a song, it's a movement, a shift in the musical landscape that has forever changed the trajectory of Latin music. The success of Despacito was a testament to the burgeoning appeal of Latin music and reggaeton beats, but it also emerged at a pivotal moment in the digital age when the world was ready to embrace a Spanish-language track that climbed the global charts on Spotify and YouTube. Its reach was not anecdotal, it was real, measurable, and astonishingly widespread. From its reign on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, to its record-breaking views on YouTube, Despacito became the soundtrack of a generation. Indeed, Despacito has left an indelible mark on the world of music. But how did Despacito come to be? It's quite a fascinating tale. It all started with Puerto Rican crooner Luis Fonsi and reggaeton star Daddy Yankee. The duo had the initial idea for the song, and it was their vision that set the wheels in motion. Fonsi, known for his romantic ballads, and Yankee, with his reggaeton roots, decided to blend their styles and create a track that would resonate with a global audience. To bring their vision to life, they enlisted the help of two talented producers, Mauricio Rangifo and Andres Torres. These bilingual Colombian producers, known for their unique blend of modern pop and Latin vibes, were instrumental in shaping the sound of Despacito. They incorporated reggaeton beats into the song, giving it a distinctive rhythm that was both catchy and danceable. This fusion of styles was a deliberate choice, intended to bridge the gap between different musical genres and appeal to a broad spectrum of listeners. The recording process was a whirlwind of creativity and collaboration. Fonsi and Yankee, along with Rengifo and Torres, worked tirelessly to perfect every aspect of the song. The lyrics, the melody, the rhythm, every element was carefully considered and refined. They wanted to create a track that was not only musically engaging, but also embodied the vibrant spirit of Latin culture. Finally, on January 13, 2017, Despacito was released to the world. It debuted at number two on the Hot Latin Songs chart on February 3rd and climbed to number one just three weeks later. The world was captivated by its infectious rhythm and catchy lyrics. But little did they know this was just the beginning of its journey to global success. In the end, the creation of Despacito was a testament to the power of collaboration, creativity, and cultural fusion. It was more than just a catchy tune. It was a carefully crafted masterpiece that would go on to make history. The story of Despacito is a reminder that great music knows no boundaries and that the universal language of rhythm and melody can bring people together, regardless of where they come from. Despacito was not just a song, it was a carefully crafted masterpiece. From its release, Despacito embarked on a journey to unprecedented success. It all started on a rather chilly January 13th in 2017. The Puerto Rican crooner Luis Fonsi and reggaeton star Daddy Yankee unveiled this hot Latin beat. The melody was infectious, the rhythm was contagious, and it was produced by the bilingual Colombian maestros Mauricio Rangifo and Andres Torres. Within weeks, Despacito was heating up the Hot Latin Songs chart debuting at number two. But it didn't just stop there, oh no, it danced its way to number one in just three short weeks. It was a whirlwind, a Latin whirlwind that was about to turn into a global tornado. The world of streaming was taken by storm. Spotify's global chart saw Despacito rise to number three, an unprecedented feat for a song in Spanish. Meanwhile, on YouTube's global music chart, it danced its way past Ed Sheeran to claim the top spot. This was no mere Latin beat, it was a global phenomenon. But as we all know, success is a journey, not a destination. And Despacito was far from reaching its final destination. Despite its initial success, by April, it had only climbed to number 48 on the Hot 100 in the three months since its January release. It seemed like Despacito had hit a ceiling. It was a global hit, no doubt, but was it destined to be a chart topper? Enter stage right, a young Canadian pop star by the name of Justin Bieber, a remix was born, and within a week, Despacito leapt to number 9, then number 4, then number 3, and then, on the May 24th chart, it claimed the coveted number 1 spot. And so, uh, Despacito climbed the ladder of success, one rung at a time. From the Latin streets to global charts, from a catchy beat to a universal anthem, Despacito had become more than just a song, it had become a movement, a symbol of Latin music's undeniable place in the global music scene. 
The success of Despacito was not confined to charts and views. It had a far-reaching impact on the global music scene. The song, a mesmerizing blend of Latin rhythms and modern pop, didn't just capture the world's attention, it held it, reshaping perceptions and setting the stage for a global Latin music revolution. Before Despacito, Latin music had a strong yet somewhat niche following, but as the pulsating beats of this track echoed out, it connected with listeners on a universal level. It wasn't just a song sung in Spanish, it was a song that spoke to the world. And the world listened. It danced. It sang along even if it didn't understand every word. This was more than a hit. It was a seismic shift. Despacito opened the floodgates for a wave of Spanish-language and Latin-themed tracks to enter the mainstream. Artists from around the world began experimenting with reggaeton beats, infusing their music with the infectious energy that had propelled Despacito to phenomenal heights. The song didn't just influence music, it influenced attitudes. It showed that music in any language could transcend borders, bridge cultures, and unite people. It was a testament to the power of a truly global hit. And it wasn't just the music industry that felt the tremors of this revolution. The ripple effect of Despacito was felt far and wide. It sparked a renewed interest in Latin culture, from food and fashion to film and literature. It showed that Latin artists could not only compete on the global stage, but dominate it. In the wake of Despacito, we've seen a surge in the popularity of Latin music with artists like Bad Bunny, J Balvin, and Rosalia becoming household names. Their success is a testament to the doors that Despacito helped to open and the new global audience it helped to create. In the end, Despacito was more than a song. It was a movement that forever changed the global music scene and as we continue to feel its impact, we anticipate with excitement what the next revolution in music will bring.